Hi, my name is Shirley Gutkowski and I'm a dental hygienist and I'm speaking to you today from my home office. I'm here to talk to you today about fluoride. Yes, fluoride. There's a lot of controversy about fluoride anymore, isn't there? Should we put it in the water? Shouldn't we put it in the water? Should we drink it? Should we give it in vitamins? Shouldn't we? Should we give fluoride drops? Should we do this with fluoride or that with fluoride? And I'm here to tell you, oh my gosh, it's really confusing, right? Well, I don't know. It's not that confusing to me. Here's the thing. Here are the facts. The facts are that fluoride works best topically. Fluoridated water works because the fluoride goes across your teeth. It doesn't have to be swallowed. If you live in a fluoridated community and you're afraid of your water, you can get the fluoride benefits without having to ingest it by just rinsing with the water a few times a day. Is that enough? I don't know. I don't know you. I have to look at your teeth. I have to look at your history. I have to look at your social history, your medical history, your dental history. I have to know a lot more before I can make a statement like that. I'm a dental hygienist and I'm not there with you. So that's the short answer about the fluoride water. The next thing is about fluoride treatments in the dental office. A lot of dental offices today are looking to use a fluoride varnish, which is really high concentration of fluoride, and it's a really long duration. So it meets the topical application component of fluoride for your teeth. It is helpful, and it lasts a really long time, especially in the pits and fissures of the teeth. The fluoride will remain there as a varnish. Once you brush your teeth, the rest of the fluoride gets off of your teeth and you don't have to worry about it. Because it's in that varnish though, it's kind of trapped and it's kind of a super slow release. So it's not like you're going to swallow a bunch of it. Unless the dentist or the dental hygienist who put it on glopped it on. There shouldn't be a lot left over in your mouth or on your tongue that you have to spit or wipe it off with a paper towel. Fluoride drops and fluorides that you ingest aren't really all that much indicated anymore. It's more about the topical application about fluoride. It's a low dose, long duration kind of a, of a recipe. So don't be afraid of the fluoride. Use it appropriately. It does help the teeth. It is not the only thing you may need. Unless the dentist or the dental hygienist has really looked at your saliva, you may need other things besides just fluoride. So make sure that they test your saliva too. My name is Shirley Gutkowski, G-U-T-K-O-W-S-K-I. If you need any help later, give me a call. You can find me on the internet just about anywhere. Thank you.